Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be a video all about BlueStacks and how it can help you with your mobile games on your PC. Um, for those that have watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I use BlueStacks for a bunch of games already. Raid, I use it for um, Dragon Champions, for World War Do, for Gemstone Legends, to name a few. Uh, and they've just launched BlueStacks 5, the newest version. So this video is going to talk you through what improvements they've made in version 5 and it's pretty substantial and you can see here how i can actually run multiple instances of games pretty comfortably on my pc um way easier than i could before so i mean what i loved about bluestacks beforehand was already that we could run macros so that we could auto farm with games that we play we could do things like have multiple instances of bluestacks open but with bluestacks 5 the speed of load is incredibly fast. And also the setup is tons easier. So when I came into BlueStacks first time round on BlueStacks 4, I had to do a whole load of performance enhancements to be able to get started. Now it's already in there. You don't have to do a load of faff in the, in the beginning. It's already done, optimized to your PC. Um, you can also really quickly clone different instances of BlueStacks so that you can have same game running multiple times if you're using multiple accounts of the same game so if i'm going to load raid here on my main account and you'll see how quickly this loads and how clean it feels as well um, you can see that i've got raid running here on my main account i've got a new version of raid running down here so i can literally be running multiple games at the same time without any kind of performance issues on my pc at the same time i could be looking for a new game that i want to download and installing it here it's super simple to be able to do and it's also really fast. If I wanted to play multiple games at the same time, I could have my main account here. This is Raid Shadow Legends. I could have my main account running. So I could actually set up a macro to basically be my auto clicker. So I can open Macro Manager, hit record. And then basically what I'm telling it to do is to record where my clicks are. So I'm recording the replay button. You watch my spider farm going off here. And what I'm doing is setting up, at the moment, it's just mirroring whatever my mouse is going to do and mirroring wherever I'm going to click. So we see here, we should get a good old smack on the spider and another one. Spider dies. The macro now records for me to hit replay. And then I can stop the record. All it's going to do is if I press play, it's going to repeat that process over and over again. What you can also do in the macro setup is you can change the settings and say, I don't want it to repeat over and over again. Uh, I want it to repeat 30 times or 20 times or whatever you want so that you can use all of the energy that you want to use for this particular um, action. So you can either repeat a number of times or you can repeat infinitely until stopped. Um, so I'm gonna do that on this one because that makes most sense for me. Hit play and then this, if you watch, it's just gonna continuously uh, repeat that game mode. At the same time, I could be running multiple different games. So I could be starting up a new version of the same game on a different instance. Uh, so with BlueStacks Multi Instance, you can clone an instance. And then what that'll do is it'll clone the games that you've got there. But it will let you log in as a new account. So if you wanted to run, I don't know, multiple instances of Raid because you wanted to be your own affiliate link, for example, then we could do it down here. At the same time, I could be playing Dragon Champions. At the same time, I could be installing another game, which I'd not tried yet. So for me, it's actually, it's such a great tool. It's always been a good tool, but the fact that it's now nowhere near as hungry on your CPU is actually pretty cool. Um, a lot of people have said to me before, yeah, we can use BlueStacks, but if I open a couple of instances of it, it really slows down my PC, which was a fair comment. Nowadays, uh, on this BlueStacks 5, it's a different story. We've got here, this is just an example of, of how my CPU usage is going. So you can see it's using up 40% of the CPU to run this different uh, sets of BlueStacks and 60% of my memory. If I'm leaving a load of stuff running on macros, I can actually bring up Eco Mode. It's in the BlueStacks Multi-Instance Manager. Press Eco Mode. And what it does is the visuals completely slow down. Like the visuals on the, the screen will slow down. It's, it's meant to be made for those that aren't actively kind of playing. But look at what it does. The CPU usage comes right down 
it's way less intensive on on the computer and you'll be able to run multiple instances really comfortably on most machines so i've done a really good job here because this has been the most difficult thing to deal with in terms of running BlueStacks in the past so let's just take this one to full screen for now uh, one of the other things you can do in BlueStacks with the eco mode is you can take an item so let's say we were trying to upgrade our items normally we know it takes a long time in raid shadow legends yeah so this upgrade is actually kind of quick anyway but if we were to go into it's actually way quicker than we generally see it in raid okay um but if we go into our eco mode see the little kind of um i don't know, like speedometer here we can click eco mode on and we can tweak it up to 10 and now look at the speed that it rolls the items some people say is this spending more silver no it's not it's going to spend exactly the same amount of silver as it would do on normal mode but you can see here how quickly we're getting our items rolled up and this is just a great little example of what eco mode can do for you on your system so as long as you set your eco fps to 10 then just turn it off again and then you go back to playing the game as you were before so if you were looking for new games you can literally find i mean i think there's something like two million options on here um, from top charts to you know pr pretty much anything you can think of will be in here um, i tend to use it for games which are mobile only that i can then download onto my pc and play multiple games at the same time so if i want to play my dragon champions whilst also playing raid um, you know it's generally those games that are kind of like grindy or farmy rpg type games i tend to find it really good for those also if i'm just at my pc doing some other work and you know i want something running alongside it then i tend to use it for that as well so with this additional performance it just means that you can run multiple versions of games at the same time with really no issues whatsoever so i'm going to throw some facts at you now these are facts not just like a little oh this might be the case it uses less cpu than nox than mimu um than ld player okay that's facts um it is better on your ram usage than the same three rivals so if you guys are already using those and familiar with them i would suggest you give bluestacks a try download it on my link below and i think you'll be really impressed by the performance so there we have it guys blue stacks 5 massive performance enhancement on previous versions and compared to the competition out there really cool to use if you're playing raid or dragon champions or any of those other mobile rpg style games um, you can download any of those on the links i put below and you can download the installer on my link below as well hope you enjoyed the video get using it i've been hell hades i'll see you later